Hey guys, it's Melissa from The Good Company. Hope this finds you well. Wanted to remind you that Valentine's Day is coming. And if you're not a fan, fan of Valentine's Day, perhaps you celebrate Galentine's Day or Palentine's Day. It's just to celebrate love, right? Find someone that you love this season and make them an accountability partner. That's what you're going to give them. You're going to give them the gift of your presence, of you showing up for them to monitor and help them with whatever it is that they are working on. Your best friend's working on sleep. You make sure you call her every night at nine o'clock and say, I hope you're in your PJs. Or somebody needs to lose weight and is interested in movement. And maybe you start a walking club with them. And maybe you call three of your other friends so that that friend is taking four walks a week, one with each of you. What a gift doesn't have to cost a thing, right? We're not thinking about gift giving in terms of monetary possessions this season. Let's think about giving ourselves. How can we give ourselves to those that we love in the name of wellness? What can we do to support somebody who might be struggling somewhere in their wellness that we know? Someone's been in the house far too long, afraid to go outside. Put on your mask, put on your boots, get them outside for a walk, right? free, easy. Um, Friends that are struggling with staying inside and not connecting to people, maybe you turn them on to the new app that I'm a huge fan of, Clubhouse, where they can actually talk with other people and not feel so isolated. And maybe you take the first step to figure out how that works, right? So figure out where your friends are hurting a little bit. Those people that you love, that you see, or that you talk to, that you know intimately. What can we do for them this Valentine's Day or Palentine's Day or Galentine's Day to show them that we love them. Mm, It's a good one, right?